All right, hi everybody. Thanks for checking my video out here. Um, I actually uh, wanted to do a, re a review of this particular flash that I picked up uh, some time ago for use with my Nikon uh, camera here. Um, I've been doing some doing some uh, more portrait work lately, and uh, kind of found that I needed a little bit more in the way of uh, flashes. And I've got two of the SB 910s. Got two of these guys, and I kind of wanted the same functionality, but I didn't want to spend another, you know, four hundred dollars or so, whatever these things go for. And I just needed a third light, so I didn't need something that was this feature packed, and I wanted something that was good, but I didn't, you know, I didn't want to spend nothing, you know, because I know there are some flashes on Amazon for you know eighty, ninety bucks, and they might, you know, do the trick, but. You know, I do like to use pro-grade gear, or I like to use gear that's, you know, reputable and that would be, uh, you know, that would be able to come through even on a professional gig or professional shoot. So, um, you know, I kind of looked around a little bit and then I stopped by my local camera shop and uh, the, I went to the counter and I told the guy, I said, you know, I'd like to get a third light, but I'm not looking for another, I got a, uh, you know, Speedlight 910s. I'd like to get something similar to that, you know, preferably um you know not is not in the same price range and the guy goes i know exactly what you're looking for i've got exactly what you need so i said excellent and he brings out this now to me this looks like it's just another sb910 but in fact it is not this is the strobe's pro flash tlin so i'm like okay that looks a lot like an sb910 it, kind of looks similar in the back just fewer buttons and so forth but it's not terribly different um, so I said okay well what's the price point of this one and, and sadly I just kind of I forgot to look the price up while I was uh, uh, you know while I was comparing I forgot to look up the price online before I started doing this video but basically I just kind of wanted to talk about my experiences with it um, it's. I remember the price was much less than the SB910. I want. I, I want to say I think I paid about 200 bucks for this, maybe about half the price of the SB910. The build quality is right there along with the SB910, except for one thing. The the 910 has a nice uh, bounce card that comes out right off the top, and then it also has the, you know, has this bit that goes over the the end. I want to say it's like a it's like a diffuser, I think it is. I'm not sure what the proper technical term is, but uh, you know those work real nice on there. The uh, Pro Flash TLIN does, in fact, have the the diffuser that goes over this, but there was a bounce card built in, much like the uh, SB910. It broke the first time I tried to use it, so um, that little bit was a little annoying. But if you have some light modifiers, like I've got the uh, Honol combo kit you can bring your own bounce card and essentially it's fine um, so as far as this flash goes the build quality is excellent now the one big difference between this and the 910 is the power uh, the SB910 just like the predecessor of the SB900 is powered by four AA batteries totally fine right but the Strobe's TLIN is actually powered by its own battery pack. So this is a essentially a lithium ion battery pack and it comes with its own charger right here. I bought this flash probably I want to say two months ago, three months ago. I've used it on three shoots already. I have not had to recharge it yet. So the the battery usage on this thing, the battery power is pretty incredible. Um, it's, I was a little surprised at first because I kind of prefer using standard AA batteries. You can get them from anywhere. If you're running low, you can send somebody out to the store to pick up a set of AA batteries or, you know, Amazon Prime now them and they'll be at your door in like an hour. But, uh, this thing uses its own custom power pack. I have no qualms about it, honestly, especially because it's a third light as well. So, you know, if a third light goes down, it's not the end of the world. The shoot will still go on, but... Um, this has been a, a really great workhorse. I've really enjoyed working with it. I've enjoyed using it. And uh, 
do you know I would would I recommend it as a primary flash? If you were on a budget, yes, I would say definitely go for this one. But I would highly recommend having at least one first party unit in your arsenal first. So start your collection with a Nikon, or if you shoot some, if you shoot Canon, get a Canon. Uh, oh, what do they call them now? I I. I got it at Canon some time ago, so I don't remember what they are, but, you know, get one of the brand that you shoot first, uh, and then you can add these strobies, you know, after the fact, afterwards. Um, I would not recommend going with uh, the really cheapy ones. Um, it's just not, it's just a big risk, you know, you, quality control I can't imagine it being all that good I mean you know there's got to be a reason they can sell those flashes for 80 or 90 dollars there's a reason you're paying twice the price for this one four times the price for you know the Nikon one or whatever it's a quality thing and and when it comes to professional stuff it's a consistency thing you want something that's going to be consistent and something that is just going to work for you every single time no questions when you turn the camera on turn the flash on you're ready to fire um so this flash works it works wirelessly with the Nikon system I have a d7100 so which this is my my workhorse camera I love this thing but uh, it's got the built-in flash uh, commander which communicates with this no problem at all this has uh, it supports channel a and B it's uh, I think it might even support group C I didn't even notice but uh, this has full wireless support yeah so you can do channel one through four uh, and then of course group a B or C so this will fully integrate with whatever you are using if you're using the built-in uh, system on your on your camera. Um, this is just a tremendous flash for the money. Such a great flash for the money. So, um, so the Strobe's Pro Flash T L I N, and I'm assuming it means T L T L I N for Nikon, but I don't know if that's just a model number thing. But um, I... okay, we're gonna do a little comparison of the displays on the back of the flashes here. Uh, just for uh, you know for the sake of the video so let me go ahead and turn on the SB I'll turn on the strobies now right off the bat this kind of looks a lot more like the back of the Canon flashes um, you know this one I, I shot Canon for a while and this looks almost exactly like that it doesn't have all the same information that is say on the back of the SB here but uh, you know this one still has all the information you would need like it shows we're in wireless slave mode we're on channel one group B and uh, and so forth this is already gotten standby okay um, also shows our standard zoom length here we do have the ability to zoom um, basically everything is done on the back of this by pressing this and then rotating the uh, the knob to get your desired level and then pressing that uh, okay to lock it in same with the wireless, so I can press the wireless button. Then it shows when my channel is blinking. I can change my channels. Also go between my groups A, B, C, or D. And then also I can press and hold this. And that's going to have me go between master and slave mode. The set button makes it official here. Whereas on the SB, it's a little bit different. The SB actually has these sort of soft keys along the bottom so if I need to change the wireless settings I would just find the key that corresponds to that here um, which actually this is in regular mode I would want to go into remote mode so now I'm in remote mode and now I've got zoom selection and then the tone and so forth so I can go into select and then change my wireless here and then also I can press select to go through the different options as well so Definitely just different styles of operation as far as uh, the different flashes are concerned. The Strobe one is a little simpler to use, but uh, obviously a little more features are going to be on the uh, Nikon uh, speed light there. One other thing I want to mention as well as far as what it comes with, uh, because there is a big difference there. The, uh, the Strobe's comes with this carrying pouch, which is great, and uh, it has the little stand and the little tripod adapter, so you can use this to attach the tr flash to the tripod. Uh, and then that's actually it. So here's this is the bounce card that I mentioned it broke off, so I kept it. But um, other than that, that's all you get with this. And the, you also get the charger, of course. You do get a little bit more with the SB910s, and that's part of the reason why I recommend. That's part of the reason why I recommend buying at least one SB910 to start with, because in the 
uh, in the little pouch here, you get, uh, they, this does have the little tripod adapter and so forth, just like the other one does. But you also get these uh, snap-on items, these snap-on items, which are great. You get a, um, you get a green gel, you get a yellow gel or orange gel, and then of course you get a diffuser type of thing. So these come with the flash ready to go. And you know, I'm just thinking, I wonder if will this work on the, so it looks like it's a little too big to fit over the pro flash. Just trying to see if this diffuser works on it. it does not look like it. Okay, how about one of the gels? Yeah, see the, there's no place for the gels to snap onto. So sadly you wouldn't be able to interchange them. It, I mean, it's, it'll stay on, but it's not really gonna fit right. But, you know, having that flexibility and having these with your SB is definitely gonna be good to have in your arsenal. So, um, I really like it. I'm very happy with it. Um, I don't see the need for any more flashes. I, I'm, you know, my camera rig is pretty much good to go, but if I ever needed an additional light, I would have no qualms going out to the camera shop and picking up another one of these. So, I uh, hope this review helps, and uh, if you want to look up specifics on this, like, you know, the guide number and all that stuff, you know, I, I didn't bother going into specs because all that information's on the internet anyway. You know, I just kind of wanted to talk more about my practical use and, uh, you know, real world, uh, you know, real world application of this flash. So, um, works beautifully, highly recommend it, fully wireless compatible, Strobe's Pro Flash, T-L-I-N. Thanks for watching.